watching Steph on the pedal and I am Instacart shopping again today. If you don't know who I am, I make a lot of Instacart content right now. So if you are interested in learning more about Instacart, make sure you subscribe to this channel and then also check the description box below. I have a Facebook group dedicated towards Instacart shoppers and then I also have a playlist full of all of my Instacart content. So my last video was a bit of a rough one for me, but I've been told pretty consistently that getting up and out early can be worth it, so that's what I'm doing today. It is currently 8.23, and I wanted to be out earlier than this, uh, but that didn't happen because I couldn't get my butt out of bed. But here we are, and you know, as I was getting ready to leave, I actually saw quite a few good orders. I mean, a couple $50 orders, some some pretty decent stuff so i'm wondering if i just didn't make it out early enough but that's okay we're gonna see what happens i i'm not trying to get costco orders or anything like that today i'm just trying to get decent orders just to see if instacart is still going to be a thing for me or not so I'm currently sitting in front of my favorite grocery store at the moment, but I'm actually not seeing any batches for this store. I'm seeing some kind of okay stuff. I'm gonna hold off and try to find something better to start out with. I don't necessarily need the high dollar amount, but at least something, you know, with lower items. So yes, I'm going to wait a minute and I will update you as soon as I take a batch. All right, it is currently 9.24 and I just accepted my first batch. So, <sighs> ugh. I was literally about to give up and I was actually gonna turn this into a Postmates video. I, I, um, I was walking into Target. I was gonna do some personal shopping for myself and um, just kind of keep an eye on batches and see what was happening. I found a batch, it's a Sam's Club batch, and I've been wanting to try one of those stores like that, like a Costco or a Sam's Club, so I decided to take it. It is kind of far, it's like 20 minutes from me, which is not ideal, but I've also heard that the area that I'm going to can be a decent area to shop in, so I'm gonna give it a try. I kind of feel like um, it's pretty far outside of Denver, so I think that Maybe I won't be competing with as many shoppers there, but uh, yeah, as far as competing with bots, I don't know. I want to say it was like $30 for 13 items. I'm going to drive there and I'll let you know how that ends up going and hopefully I can just kind of stay down there for a little while and get some more batches. If not, this might become a Postmates video. <laughs> Okay, so it is currently about 10.50. I finished that last order around 10.30. I think I started at 9.20. I know I told you guys already. But um, I know it's not the best, but I, I don't think it's terrible either. So in total, I ended up doing $28 off of that order. And then I just accepted another batch that was pretty close to me. It's kind of a big one. It's 50 items. It's 101 units. The payment was like $37 and the distance wasn't too far. So hopefully I can get this done in, you know, an hour and a half or less and it should be worth it. But so far I'm not too upset with how Instacart is going in this area. I mean, that's the thing, you know, I was obviously having issues yesterday, but I was also driving closer to Denver. I think, you know, in this kind of situation, you might just need to adjust your strategy and try shopping elsewhere. If it's still not working for you, even after you try a couple of different things, then, you know, I've said this before, you need to have a backup gig. You can't rely on Instacart as your only income because that's just not okay, especially with everything that's going on with Instacart right now. It's just, you can't do that. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I have a video that I put out about bots and you should go watch that video. But yeah, wish me luck. Okay, so that last batch took me about an hour and a half and it was for $37. So far I've made like $65 today. Um, I definitely had kind of that slow start because I just wasn't gonna take any of the crappy batches that were available to me, but it seems like being in this area may be kind of okay, but at the same time, 
I'm not seeing any batches available now. And as I was kind of driving away from that, how, ooh, I like that. Like, no, I don't like that. Yeah. Seven items, 45 units. I'm gonna do that. That doesn't sound so bad. It's only $17.75, but anyways, it's really close to me. So it's mainly just cat food. I think I'll get through this really fast. Definitely less than an hour. So I kind of like that order. I mean, this is working out for me. I, I'm not complaining. I think that, you know, today has been more about me just trying to figure out what's going to work now since uh, I think there is a combination of the bots and shoppers just like going crazy trying to pick up every batch that comes at them and um, which really kind of sucks because I would prefer to actually look at the batch before I take it but obviously you can't do a whole lot of that at the, this point in time. I know every market is going to be different. I would almost bet that there is kind of a workaround no matter where you are maybe except Florida. I've heard Florida is really bad. Sorry Florida. You just got to do what you got to do I guess and you know today I'm not as worried about what my hourly rate is looking like because I am just trying to come up with a new strategy. And so far, I think this is going to work out, but I definitely wanna test this area out again before I can say with 100% certainty that this is where I wanna be. You know, this is about a half hour drive from my house, which is not bad, I don't mind doing that. And if I can continue to get batches like I am, then I it would be worth coming here for me. So just remember that if you are having a really hard time where you are, try driving a little bit outside of your area. Try driving maybe somewhere where it's a little more rural if you're closer to a city. I don't know, just a thought. I have to say that I am pleasantly surprised. So my last order was $18. It took me a half hour. That was an awesome order. I know it had like 40 units on it, but or a little over 40 units, but there were 40 cans of cat food. So that was super easy to pick. So what I've kind of noticed is because I'm like, in more of a rural area i don't know if uh, maybe it's affecting the batches that i get but I, I it's been so weird recently it's like a few weeks ago i would get batches i'd sit in front of a store and get you know endless batches for that same store i think that now the batches seem to be a lot more spread out and there will be batches that are 20 minutes from me what I have kind of noticed is that after I drop off, I might have some batches available, but those are the batches that are all really far from me. And then as soon as I drive back to the area where uh, there's like two grocery stores right in the same area, and one of them Sam's Club, the other one is King Supers. And I've been just kind of switching uh, back between them. I did one at Sam's Club and two at King Supers. So it seems like, ooh, this is good. Okay, we'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it! Yes! I just got a $35 order with a $20 tip in it. I'm not looking at them for very long, but this is, okay, it's 50 items. That's not, that's not bad. Yeah. Okay, I mean, this is awesome. I honestly, I have no complaints at all right now. Like, it's been back to back for me. I literally just pour, pulled up to the store. And yeah, 63 units, not terrible. Okay, I'm gonna take this. I might just, you know, I might just update you a little later. I don't think I'm gonna update you after every single batch, but I think it's pretty obvious that I'm gonna be able to make money today, and I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm so happy. Super quick tip, always park next to the cart return. So much easier. Okay, this is definitely not what it was just a couple of weeks ago, but I mean, I've been fairly steady, and I'm sitting at about 140 right now, so. I definitely have done more driving than what I'm used to doing, but I'm also in a more rural area. And it's kind of, it's later in the day right now. It's like 4.30 and it seems like I'm not gonna be able to get another batch because I definitely saw what looked like bot activity because a bunch of pretty good batches flashed on my screen and disappeared within like a blink of an eye. Like there's no way a person did that, so. Oh, oh, well, oh. and those are crappy and really far from me. Yeah, those are going quick, but that just seems like people taking them quickly. I'm just sitting here constantly refreshing. 
I wouldn't mind taking something far away from me as long as it got me closer to home. So taking something closer to Denver isn't a huge deal, but I may just call it for the day. I think, I mean, really what I've learned is, yeah, because when I got up early this morning, I was up around six and I was showering and getting ready and, and I definitely saw a lot of good batches. And it seems like most of the, the good batches that I took were earlier in the day. So I think going out and driving earlier is definitely key. And I also think that switching up locations was a good idea too, just going a little bit further away from the city. I'll probably give it about 10 minutes to see if I can't grab anything else. I'm also exhausted. I'm so not used to waking up that early. But I wouldn't mind adjusting my schedule to try to get up earlier. I'm just not there right now. Not even close. And I went to bed really late last night and got up early. So I am dead right now. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Nothing's happening. I think even though I got some pretty decent tips today, people don't seem, oh, uh, what's this? Uh, I don't want that. I could take it. That's probably gonna be as good as it gets, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna take it. I kinda already have it in my head that I'm done for the day, so I'm gonna have to see something good, I think, in order to keep staying out. Okay, that's enough for me. I'm gonna start making my way back home and I'll kind of keep this open and keep an eye on it and see if I don't see anything. They go so fast that driving and trying to pick a bell. Oh, what's this? <clears throat> crappy, crappy, crappy. Good. That is really freaking far. What? Where is that? Oh, that's, oh, it's gone. Of course, I can't. I'm taking my sweet time like a dummy. I should have I should have swiped on that, but I couldn't tell where it was. I thought it was taking me way past my house. Yeah, I'm gonna make my way back home and then I will keep this open and see if I don't see any batches. I mean, one thing that's kind of hard about this though is that you just don't have time to look at it. And then they go so fast that you really kind of need to be parked in order to look at batches, at least where I am, so. Okay, that's what I'm doing. So tired. So I'm in a park. I wanted to go outside today and I figured I would finish this vlog up here just because I wanted to. But I ended up driving back home and I was kind of like refreshing and I checked, I was checking to see if there were any batches and it was like nothing basically. I saw just a couple, but I even stopped at the grocery store just to do some personal shopping and it was terrible. I also found out that they've been having some issues with their map system, which at least in Denver, we're getting batches just like all over the place. Some that are very far from where we're at. So, I mean, I was getting batches that were probably like 30 miles away from me at one point, which is totally not okay. But I just kind of wanted to go over my earnings. You know, I'm not like really thrilled with them, but at the same time, it's not the worst thing ever. Okay, so I ended up doing 140 today. Not the best, not the worst. I really wanted to make like 150, but it's okay, I'll take it. Really what I ended up noticing is that towards the beginning of the day, earlier on, I had a lot more options as far as batches went, and then as the day progressed, it was like I had less and less options and kind of crappier batches. So I really think there, you know, there is something to going out earlier. I think that it, it might be beneficial and I bet it's that way in a lot of markets and not just mine. So yeah, the 140, so like $75 in tips, $65 in Instacart payments. My first batch, I did $28. And then, as you can see, this is something I wanted to talk to you guys about. I know a lot of you probably already know this, but if you're new to Instacart, you might not. And I see a lot of people ask about this in my group, which by the way, if you don't know, I have a Facebook group and it's a great resource. A lot of people talking in there, a lot of people helping each other out, but I have a link for that down in the description below. 
So what I wanted to talk to you about was this customer tip. As you can see, they originally tipped like $22.84 and then it was reduced to $20.41. So that doesn't mean that the customer actually went in and reduced that tip. What that actually means is they tipped a percentage based and when you refund or replace items and the total bill ends up lower, then your tip actually decreases as well. So that's what happened here and I know a lot of people get upset about about that and they think oh my gosh they went back in and lowered my tip well no they actually didn't they just tip percentage base and it automatically lowered it it's nothing that the customer did if the customer did do it it will actually say that the customer changed your tip so that's not what this is um, that is one reason that you definitely want to try to refund and replace as many or not refund you want to try to replace as many items as you can to try to keep your bill total up so uh, let's go to my next batch. So thirty-seven dollars. Uh, I got like a sixteen-dollar tip on that one. Here's this seventeen-dollar, well, eighteen-dollar one, ten-dollar tip there. I have a thirty-four-dollar batch. You can see that uh, the tip was reduced just a little bit there too, but not much. Still nineteen-dollar tip. Not complaining. And then we have a $23 batch. And the tip went down just a little bit there to $9.15. So actually I'm gonna go back into this batch really fast because I wanna show you that the opposite can happen with your tip too. So you see this one also says order adjustments affected tip amount. So it went from $9.75 to $9.95. So if you're adding on items, which is kind of a good idea. So those hot ticket items like toilet paper, hand sanitizer, bleach, paper towels, things that might be hard to find especially for your area you should always offer those up to your customer first of all they might just increase your tip anyways but adding on items to your order if they tip percentage base is going to end up earning you a higher tip in the end so that's another thing that i do i always ask them at the end like when i have about five items left i say hey i'm almost finished with your order please make sure that you check all the uh, changes that I've made and then I asked them if they would like to add anything else so I mean I wouldn't take like five new items but they can add a few things and obviously that's gonna increase your bill and you know people like that I don't think that I'm gonna be walking away from Instacart I definitely want to kind of fine-tune my strategy and see if I can figure out a way to make money and in, in the meantime I'm gonna kind of hope that Instacart is gonna fix a few things to where we are able to make the money that we were just a couple weeks ago. I don't really know what's gonna happen. I don't know what to expect. You know, I've said this, I don't wanna sound like a broken record, like make sure you have a backup. If you were relying on this income, you need to make sure you have another gig to work in case something happens with Instacart. I will definitely be putting out some videos about the other gigs. Uh, I Currently, I'm on a wait list for a lot of them, like Grubhub, DoorDash, I'm on a wait list. I just finished my shipped application today. I think I might be on a wait list for them now too. I, I, I can't really tell if I'm on a wait list or if I am just in the process of being approved. It, it, regardless, um, I do have Amazon Flex and Postmates right now. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see me do one of those and I'll make sure that I get on top of that. But. All right, thank you so much for watching and make sure you give this video a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.